Hello everyone and welcome to Eternity Bible College's Class of 2022 Commencement. My name is Ernesto Duke. I am the Director of Partnerships here at Eternity. I am an alumnus and I've had the opportunity of teaching many of these graduates in their Old Testament courses over the years. Now before we get started, it is my privilege and honor this morning to kick off this graduation with some words of encouragement to both our graduates and to the rest of you watching. One of the things that I love about Eternity is that we don't necessarily have one type of student. Some of our graduates go on to start for-profit businesses. Some go on to be missionaries living abroad or domestically. Some will go on to pastor or plant churches, to lead small groups, to become community activists, and many, many other ventures as well. So it puts me in this unique position of trying to figure out how to encourage each of you, despite the fact that you will do so many different and unique things. As you've studied the story of the Bible over the last few years, you have learned to navigate the various cultural settings that God's people have found themselves in throughout history. We studied ancient Near Eastern culture, we studied Greco-Roman culture, and we studied the history and development of our cultural moment, all alongside the Bible, in order for us to understand what it meant for God's people to live in those particular times. In the latter part of the Hebrew Bible, there is an ethic that gets developed as Yahweh's people are carried into exile. And that ethic is an answer to the question, how do God's people live in a foreign land? It's like our friend and former professor Preston Sprinkle says, how do we live as exiles in Babylon? And as this ethic develops, we realize that this is actually a pattern and a question that God's people have been asking since they were kicked out of the garden, since the consequences of choosing to decide good and evil for themselves, they were forced to live in a land with toil and trouble, with pain and tears, with the curse of sin. And the hard part, the hard part is that the answer is not black and white. It'd be really nice if there was a clear way to live your life day to day as a Yahweh follower, a rule book or basic instruction, something to tell us to the T how to live in a world broken by sin, but there's not. What we have are stories, stories that we are meant to read and reread, stories that are designed to shape who we are and how we live. You see, graduates, there may be a time in your life when you were called to live like Abraham and Sarah, to leave the land of your forefathers and to go to a place that is unknown, that is insecure, that does not have the comforts of safety and home. There are times when you may find yourself with immense power, like Joseph, where you have the power and privilege to bend the arc of the world's justice in order to care for the vulnerable, to provide for the weak, to demonstrate the goodness and justice of God. There may be times when you, like Joshua and Caleb, when you enter into a place or a season in which you are to stand out and be different, where you are not to adopt the practices of those around you, but where you are to stand for the name and the honor and the reputation of your God. There may be times where, like Deborah, you have to rise to an occasion where you are seen culturally as an underdog, as the wrong fit for the role. There may be times when, like Boaz, you are called to use your wealth and privilege to care for a vulnerable immigrant in your midst, to go against what might serve your family or your nation's best interests in order to care for a person who bears the image of God. There may be times when, like Amos and Jeremiah, Nahum and Joel and the other prophets, where you look at the idols that Yahweh's people are building, you look at the golden calves that they are saying represent God, and you will need to call for their destruction and for the return of Yahweh's people to allegiance to him alone. You may be like Daniel, living in a foreign land and refusing to eat of the king's table. Or you may be like Esther, throwing parties and enjoying the fruit of the king's table. We see this lived out in almost every story about Jesus as well. We see a Jesus who was born into a poor family and raised in a small village. A Jesus who did not move across the world to change it, but who lived in a relatively small area his entire life. A Jesus who refused the temptations of the devil and the power of this world, and who also found himself eating at the table and breaking bread with the sinner, the prostitute, and the tax collector. A Jesus who, on the one hand, like Daniel, who refused to bow to the prince of this world, but on the other, he will kneel and wash 
the feet of those he calls brothers and sisters. A Jesus who purposefully traveled to the land of Samaria so that an ashamed Samaritan woman, someone outside of his ethnicity, his religion, his gender, and his social status, so that that person may come to know and worship the one true living God. You may find yourself like Peter, commanded to take and eat of the things that you formerly knew as wrong, things that were impure and unclean, but that God has now made clean. You may find yourself like Paul, who in the book of Acts can be seen co-opting his Roman citizenship, his power, his status, and his privilege for the good of the kingdom and for the good of those around him. But the same man was also stoned and brought to the edge of death for his faith many times over. I don't know what the next decades hold for you graduates, but my prayer and my hope is that you would remember what Paul told the church in Philippi in Philippians 3 verse 20. Paul says that our citizenship is in heaven, and we also eagerly await a savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ. In the end of the story, in the book of Revelation, it paints a picture in which God will restore all of creation, when the curse of death and sin will no longer be on the land and on our bodies. But until that day comes, graduates, you are exiles in Babylon. May the last years of your life studying scripture compel you to continue to allow these stories of the Bible to shape who you are, to give you wisdom as exiles, as those whose status and honor and standing are not of this world, but those who have given their allegiance to King Jesus. And let that be true for the rest of the days of your life. Let us pray. Jesus, I am abundantly grateful for these graduates. I am thankful that we have been able to be a part of their lives for this short time. And I pray that we would look forward to the day when every knee will bow, when every tear will be wiped away, when we will once and forever be in your kingdom, where you, King Jesus, will reign and all of sin and death will be done. Amen. Thou my vision, O Lord of my heart, now be all else to me, save Thou art. Thou my best thought by day or by night, waking or sleeping, Thy presence my light. Be Thou my wisdom, now my true word I ever with thee and thou with me Lord thou my great father and I thy true son thou in me dwelling and I with thee one thou in me dwelling and I with thee one riches I empty praise thou mine inheritance now and no ways now and thou only first in my heart high king of heaven my treasure thou art high king of heaven thy treasure thou art high king Hi, I'm Joshua Walker. I serve as Academic Dean and I'm joined by Ernesto Duke, our Director of Partnerships, whom you've already met. As we prepare to confer the degrees upon the candidates, allow me to take a moment to explain to you each of the certificates and degrees being granted. The goals of all of our certificates and degrees are most simply expressed as fulfilling the greatest commandment of loving God and loving people, and in fulfilling the great commission of making disciples of all nations. We have candidates receiving certificates, associate's degrees, and bachelor's degrees. 
Each of these requires students to be involved in ministry in a local church, to meet regularly with a mentor from their local church, and complete specific courses appropriate to their program of study. The academic requirements are significant and the students have worked hard to meet them. However, what is most important is not whether these men and women have fulfilled a set of requirements, but instead whether or not they are faithful to use what they've learned in conjunction with the gifts and abilities that God has given them to be used by God in the lives of other people. Today we confer upon them degrees which show that we have assessed not only their academic skills, but also their desire and ability to implement their knowledge in practical ministry. As Paul makes clear when confronted by detractors in Corinth, the true measure of one's life, the most accurate letter of commendation, the only validation of one's abilities is not written on paper, but instead is written in the lives of people. As he says in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, you are our letter, written in our hearts, known and read by all men, being manifested that you are a letter of Christ, cared for by us, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God, not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of human hearts. If you have been impacted by the lives of these graduates, please let them know by posting comments about that impact and let them know during or after the ceremony what they have meant to you. I ask you to do this in order to show them that their true certificate, that their true degree is written upon your hearts and not on the piece of paper that they will receive from us. Now to the most formal thing that I will say in a year. At this time, we are going to confer the degrees upon the candidates. These candidates have fulfilled all the requirements for the undergraduate degrees that I previously mentioned. It gives me pleasure to present them for the conferring of the degrees with all the privileges and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. This year, we have 18 graduates from eight different states and three countries. First up, graduating with a certificate in youth ministry, Andrea Michelle Calvert. Andrea has already started taking classes at Tyndale Seminary and hopes to obtain a Master's of Divinity in Spiritual Formation. Her long-term goals are to become a certified spiritual director. Please join me in praying for Andrea. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Andrea. We thank you for the passion you've given her for your word and uh, the passion you've given her uh, for serving others, especially young people. And we pray uh, that you would bless her as she continues on in her training in seminary and wherever you call her next. Father, just increase her love, increase her passion for you increase her knowledge of you and uh, yeah we just look so forward to hearing about the amazing things you accomplish through her as she goes on uh, the path that you've laid out before her we thank you in christ's name amen graduating with a certificate in transformational leadership and a certificate in discipleship and counseling elizabeth mary jean hawkins elizabeth is currently attending cosmetology school and is excited to use what she's learned to make jesus known in all the little circles she's involved in Congratulations, Elizabeth. I love you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the work that you've been doing in Elizabeth's heart, training her, shaping her, and molding her. And I pray for her as she continues walking with you the remainder of her days. I know that you are the Lord of her life, and I know that you will direct her path. And I just am excited to be a part of the journey with her. Bless her in all of her days as our eyes are fixed on you, the author and perfecter of our faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Graduating with a certificate in discipleship and counseling, Trisha Ann Creighton. After graduation, Trisha plans to serve the unhoused through a ministry called Gabriel's House and is excited to see what other doors the Lord opens up. I wanna pray a prayer of blessing for you. Father, we thank you for bringing Trisha this far. And we pray as she steps into the next stage of life that you would fill her heart with wisdom and clarity and compassion for those to whom you have sent her. Father, you have prepared her for the work she will be going to do. And I pray that you would make her uh, able to lift up those that you have called her to. We exalt your name and we bless her now in Jesus' name. Amen. Graduating with a certificate in discipleship and counseling, Sergio Huizar Reyes. After graduating, Sergio plans to continue working at his current job and serving his family. He's ready to follow the Spirit moment by moment to minister to anyone around him. Father, thank you for Sergio. May your blessing and your peace and your comfort be with him. Father, fill him with your presence. 
Guide him by your spirit and your wisdom that he would cling to your word for life and that he would offer that life to others. Father, all things be done for your glory, your honor, and your praise. We ask this in Jesus' name, amen. Graduating with a certificate in discipleship and counseling, Frederick Michael Walatera. After graduation, Frederick plans to continue teaching math and performing athletic director duties at Sunridge Middle School in Pendleton, Oregon. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, would give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened so that you may know what is the hope of His calling, what is the wealth of his glorious inheritance in the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power toward us who believe, according to the mighty working of his strength. Amen. Congrats, Fred. Graduating with a certificate in biblical studies, Anirod Dakal. After graduation, Anirod plans to continue church ministry in Nepal and hopes to gather other pastors to start an attorney Bible college learning cohort in Nepal. Dear Lord, as Anu enters a new chapter in his life and ministry, I pray for continued guidance and direction for him and that he will walk before him and guide him daily, giving him spiritual discernment to see through the enemy's traps. I pray he will always know the great power of prayer and walk in the power of the Holy Spirit in all his ways and that he will always have a love and desire for your word and it will be as sweet as honey on his lips. I pray that you would give him spiritual insight, wisdom, deep understanding of your truths far beyond his years. I pray that all this in the mighty name of Jesus, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Graduating with an Associates of Foundations of Christian Thought, Austin Taylor Albert. After graduation, Austin plans to continue serving the local church in his role as tech director. My heart turns toward Ephesians 1. I want to give you this blessing out of Ephesians 1. Paul says this, For this reason, because I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints, I do not cease to give thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him, having the eyes of your hearts enlightened, that you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance of the saints? And what is the immeasurable greatness of his power toward us who believe, according to the working of his great might? Graduating with an associate of Foundations of Christian Thought, Michaela Chloe Harrington Lopez. After graduation, Michaela plans to go to nursing school. She hopes to give love, dignity, and respect to patients as she helps heal their bodies and share the good news of their Heavenly Father. Lord, we celebrate Michaela's achievements and hard work. We are thankful for everyone that made this day possible. We ask that you continue to strengthen and bless her in her continued study of your word. We hope and pray that she is a light in this world, that she speaks the truth, serves in love, and applies what she has learned in her life, and is a testament to the gospel of Christ. We love her and are so proud of her. I pray this in Christ's name. Amen. Graduating with an Associate of Foundations of Christian Thought, Amber Grace Muller. Amber is currently working on her first book that she hopes to get published this year. She also plans to return to school for social work so that she can help and minister to those struggling with addiction. Father God, Lord Jesus, thank you so much for Amber Muller. I pray over this next season of her life, Lord, that she will cling to you, Lord, for the promises that you have for her. With, fill her with wisdom, discernment, and guidance, Lord, during this time. We love you so much, Lord, and we can't do anything without you. So I just pray, Father God, that she will remember, she will remember that and hold tightly to that in Jesus' name. Amen. Graduating with a Bachelor of Biblical Studies, Matthew Christopher Bentley. Matthew is currently working as the Go Time Associate Pastor at his church. His family is also in process with the International Mission Board to move abroad as missionaries in early 2023. Lord, thank you so much for the Bentleys. Thank you for Matt. Thank you for putting him in my life. God, I'm so proud uh, 
of him, you know that, and you know that he's worked so hard, uh, not only with a family, uh, working 40 hours per week, but also studying so hard to finish his degree. Lord, I pray that you would thrust him uh, wherever you want him to be in this world. I pray you would use what he has learned while in college. Um, use those things as tools, Lord, to glorify you and your son, Jesus, and to see many come into the kingdom because of his diligence, his work ethic, his love for you. Jesus, thank you that you have fit him and made him exactly like you want him to be and you'll put him in the exact place you want him to be as well. So Lord, use Matt for your glory. And Lord, thank you for this college who has walked with him through these last few days and weeks and months, Lord, to get where he is today. Lord, glorify yourself through Matt. I pray this in Jesus' name, amen. Graduating with a Bachelor of Biblical Studies, Vanessa Candice Brown. After graduation, Vanessa plans to attend graduate school for her master's in social work. Her long-term goal is to provide licensed therapy for those suffering trauma and for vulnerable populations. Lord, I pray for Vanessa that she would be just open-handed and open-hearted to you today for whatever the future brings, that she would walk through it confidently with you, walk into it, just looking forward to what you'll do and i pray mostly today that she would know how much you delight in her how much you love her and that all that you are in her is enough and i just give her to you today in jesus name graduating with a bachelor of biblical studies noah josiah costello noah hopes to get engaged later this year and hopefully get married next spring after a season of rest and discernment, he plans to attend Reformed Theological Seminary in Charlotte, North Carolina. Father God, on behalf of his family and friends, I thank you for Noah's life, for his love for you, and for his passion to serve you wholeheartedly. I pray that each day Noah would have a deeper revelation of your love for him, and eyes to see your spirit moving and working all around him, as he surrenders himself to you and to your calling on his life. I lift up Noah to you and his future in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Graduating with a Bachelor of Biblical Studies, Emil Harutunian. After graduation, Emil plans on pursuing a master's in theology at Fuller Seminary. He starts this summer and hopes to continue on to a PhD. Lord, I want to thank you for your special calling on Emil's life, and I pray that you would reveal it to him in every single step of his ministry. I pray that he will not look for good ideas, but God ideas. I pray for provision, protection, guidance, and wisdom for his life and ministry. And above all, I pray that you will strengthen him to become a man of faith, not to believe in spite of evidence, but to follow in spite of consequence. In the name of Jesus, amen. Graduating with a Bachelor of Biblical Studies, David Eric Hennon. After graduation, David plans to continue pastoring at Meadowbrook Church of God in Ohio. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for Dave, for his commitment, for his family's backing, for all that you're doing in his life and all that you're going to be doing as he begins his ministry here at Meadowbrook Church of God and as he has finished his ministry there at the Bridgeport Church of God. Thank you for his education, for the quality of it, for the depth of it, and for his great understanding of your word, and for the hunger that you've placed in his heart to continue learning. Graduating with a Bachelor of Biblical Studies, Zachary Justin Madsen. Zach plans on pursuing his Masters of Divinity at Fuller Theological Seminary while continuing to serve the youth in his local church. God, thank you so much for Zach. I thank you for the way you've wired him, for the way you've made him, for his care for others and for his care for your word. I do pray for this next season as he's going into seminary, God, that you would give him perseverance, that you would teach him so much about your word and how to use the word to reach others that don't know you and to disciple those that do know you, God. 
Um, thank you again just for the way that you've used him in my life and been an encouragement to me and to be able to, to partner with him in ministry. Very thankful for this last season we've been able to experience and I trust you will continue to bless him. God, you are good and we love you in your name. Amen. Graduating with a Bachelor of Biblical Studies, Joshua David Mize. Joshua currently serves as youth pastor at Southland Christian Church. He plans to minister and serve at this church until God calls him somewhere else. He was just ordained last week. Father, I just pray that you will take Josh from this day going forward and keep him into the gospel that you have called him to. I know that you'll keep him because you've called him. Help him to fight the good fight of the faith and to lay hold of eternal life, that Christ be glorified in everything that he lives and does. In his name we pray, amen. Graduating with a Bachelor of Biblical Studies, Adam Estolas Morris. After graduation, Adam plans to continue in full-time ministry while attending seminary for his Masters of Divinity. His long-term goal is to plant a church someday. Heavenly Father, I ask that you would bless Adam, that you would put your hand upon him, that your face would shine upon him, and that he would minister faithfully your word, um, and also practice it, Lord, before other people, that he might be a hope um, mm. and a, a call to focus people on you and not on himself. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Graduating with a Bachelor of Biblical Studies, Jared Andrew Muser. After graduation, Jared plans to pursue videography full-time as a career while serving his church and ministering as a volunteer. Heavenly Father, I lift up Jared. We thank you for his heart and his love for you. I pray that you would use him mightily to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. God, I pray that you would empower him to live by the Spirit, that you would continue to give him discernment, to, to know your voice, and follow you as he pursues um, a life committed to following Christ. We thank you for this milestone and look forward to seeing you uh, bear fruit from this gift. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you so much for joining us for Eternity Bible College's commencement ceremony. We're so excited for all the graduates, excited for all of you, their families and friends and fellow church members. And as we finish this up, let's just close in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for all the hard work that these students have put in. Thank you for the things that they've done and the lives of other people, for the way that other people have worked in their lives. And we pray that they would just shine forth what you're like in the world, that you would take and use them as people to shine your glory, to shine your goodness. Thank you for the time we were able to spend with them, and I pray that you would take and use the, the time they've spent studying and working um, to be more faithful people for your kingdom and more faithful disciple makers. Thank you for being so good to us. In the name of our Savior King, we pray. Amen. Amen.